Ji Collin Zabang is my name. Well, my name is Bertrand Nashu. I want to say a big thank you to Sustain Africa. I want to thank uh, Sustain Africa for the trip. Very happy. Most of the times, I usually catch this uh, sleeve. Sometimes I eat them. That's normally what I think that I, I usually do with it. But now I've learned that you can wear it. You can at least you can even get a lot of revenue from it. You can actually help and employ people. Thank you very much, Sustainer. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Workshop that I've learned here today. I think after going back home, I'll be encouraged to eat snails. Thank you. I want to really thank the Sustain Africa for this initiative. I've learned a lot, and I, I am leaving this place, going back home to put it into practice. So I want to encourage young Cameroonians that there is a future that is being built for us. If you want to go there, come to Sustain Africa. You can learn a lot from it. I, for one, I am a living testimony here now as I'm talking to you. There's a lot I have learned and I'm going to put it into practice. Thank you. As I was I'm a 400 student in UB, doing a black physics. Yeah, uh, we just attended the Sustain Afraid seminar and it was mostly the doing uh, on snail farming. And with the seminar, I got to learn more about snake farming. Generally, I knew that snakes were just for it was just meant for it. I never knew the economic part of it. But through uh, sustainable, I came to know that with snake farming, I can actually, actually make money out of it, can make a living out of it. So I really encourage uh, young Cameroonians that are really wanting to endorse in it to follow. Uh, sustain our faith because we sustain our faith, they are going to learn more and it's going to boost up uh, their financial life in the future. And we sustain our faith, uh, we, are, we are going to actually do uh, agriculture while thinking about the future. Because the main thing is not just doing agriculture, but doing it while thinking about who uh, are those that are going to come after us. So, sustain our faith is there to actually ensure that it's for sustainability. It's not just for Cameroon in particular, but also for Africa and the world in general. 
name is Jojo Strawberry. I'm a botanist and a lagopreneur. I just attended a workshop on snail farming organized by the Sustain Africa. It is about feeding the society. And I learned that snail farming is not just picking snails around, just keeping them. The area like that, the Sustain Africa is made up of experts who give you the technical know how on various snails. And various snails is about it's like taking care of your own self. So I encourage the youth out there to explore this part of livestock and also to follow Sustain Africa because they have wonderful training which will empower us and together we can build a sustainable community. So this is an idea farm, so you imagine it's an idea farm. You already know how the soil, uh, the soil is being prepared, you know what to do with the leaves, and this is a uh, little leaves. Now, we are just uh, feeding the soil very simple in farm. We are supposed to have a drinker like this. Then we have a drinker like this. Anything that you have around that, you can do The essence of farming is just trying to compromise things the best way possible. So it happens like this, you try to make sure it's Especially for the water, so it doesn't come out of So, like I said, for these big ones, we don't have any problem. We can fit them like this, we can put it like this for the big ones. We need to be good because normally when we had um, oyster shell, we usually have to sprinkle on top of the food to make it more attractive because they, uh, they like calcium a lot. So, when we mix in water, we sprinkle on top of this. So, as a food, they are still uh, feeding on the oyster shell and getting calcium. So, you can just put like this. Something like it. that is why I said if you want to travel, it's advisable to do to do so, something like this. You can do this because this one don't also can put on top like this. Anytime you feel like eating, they can access and eat. This one don't propose and destroy the farm. It's the only thing this thing can do is it gets dry, dry up, but it really decompose and the levels they open. So you can put that on top of the house. Really help in the uh, reducing the sun rays, yeah, the something like that. But you don't expect something like the plants to grow any something like this come and start pouring here. Like the of the so you have to look for something like this. No matter if you have a pasta show, you have to mix with it. You just put it inside and mix with it. That's this one. So much more than the water. You see, see that, that these things are real. They like it like this. I look like this. They love it. They put it more. For the smaller ones, the smaller ones are the same thing. Okay, then you have to go to the You have to know to do the put on everything. There are so many of them here, so you can find the next side, you can just go inside. Or you can go inside. put somewhere here. So we are supposed to talk about the tear system. I don't know if we have time. We are going to just talk about the tear system. So so far we have seen the semi intensive system, right? We have seen the train system, the cycle system, the and you see how we keep the snail. This is the test and this was the system I started with before having my snail. I did not have capital to build this. So I started with tires. So I took my snail from tires. So I think we'll just work on that and we'll see how it's going to Okay, now I want to also say something that you explain to the When snails feed, it reflects in their food. For instance, if you come and you find the physics of the snail, why it's no head water for food? So it's, good, it's a good indicator because sometimes was the time when I gave snails excessive uh, watermelon, I found that physics well, I thought they were bleeding. So it's good to note, <laughs> snails they don't, chance, they don't change the color. If they eat more of this, you find that reflecting in their physics. If they eat more of, of soil, you find that reflecting in their physics. And with that, you can easily detect and say, okay, maybe they, by, like, like, let's say you had a farm manager in your farm. And you ask him, did you feed those snails? Say, yeah, what did you feed those snails with? He said, I gave them what I gave them. 
when you come back the next you should be able to find that in the field. So it's very good for you to know if your snails are being fed well. If you come and you find out that this is more of sand, no, it's not giving food. So you are disturbing the snail. So if they don't give them food, they keep more of sand. More of sand. So if you have an IG snail, I'm sure you see some of the disease and all of that. So you should always know, know that disease will always be like the Now this is a bear system. And this system is for the future.